Hey everybody, welcome to my contribution of the Doodlebug YouTube hop. Today I am stamping a cute little fairy card using um, two of the fairies from the brand new Fairy Garden stamp set from Doodlebug Design. I'm stamping two of the little um, fairy images onto Nina 110 pound cardstock. And I'm using a Tuxedo Black Memento ink to do that with. I like to stamp several images just in case I were to mess up when I'm coloring or if I need several images for tags or cards. I just like to go ahead and do that while I have um, all the stamps and colors out. You will see the colors here I'm using for the flesh part of the face and arms of both of the fairies. And here I know that that is the smallest tip of the marker because it has that little black um, band on there. That lets you know just at a glance that you're using the, um, the fine tip point of these classic markers. Okay, so I'm just going to use small circular motions to put in that lightest base color, that E00, onto the face area of that. So then next I'm going to grab the um, R11. This is just to put a little bit of cheek color onto her little cheeks. And then the next color we're going to use on the actual face part is the darkest color. This is your shade color. So I've chosen to use the E02. And I'm just going right up, right up under the hair line there and then just kind of down the side a little bit. That is the E02. Next for the um, the shading, the, the mid-tone color, I'm using this one to blend in. You will blend in from your darkest color and blend into your base color. Okay, that is actually your main color. Because you have your shaded color, you have your highlight color, which is your base color. And then you go back over again with your lightest base color and you blend in from that part up to that second color that you added, your mid-tone color. Okay, now we're going to come in and color in her dress and headband and I'm using just a mixture of colors here of kind of breaking away from the family 
of colors and using a G00 for that lightest color that I'm putting down. Um, and then using, of course, the circular motions to color in the dress, all of the dress, the base color. And then using, hopping over to the BG32, this is an aqua mint that is the darkest shade color. And I'm just kind of poking it into the very ends of that headband. Um, just imagining where that light would be coming in from the top. And then I always kind of shade under the arm and under the neck area when I'm doing you know, little dresses or outfits like this. And then moving to the BG11, that is that, that mid-tone color, the blending color to blend the um, your darkest shaded color to your lightest color. So that is your blend color. So you'll just blend out from your darkest in towards your lightest color. And then of course, coming back to that, that G00, which is that lightest base color. And then we're gonna blend those two colors in. You always blend two colors. You never blend three colors. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna hop on over to the second little fairy. And I've given her blonde hair with um, on this one. So here I'm just coloring in with that darkest shaded color. And I'll have all of the colors that I'm using of the Copic markers listed in the description below so that you can be sure to use the same exact colors. Um, this all came from the Copic Classic C set. So all of these colors came from one set. Um, so if you are able to pick that up or if you have that or when you use these colors, there it is, YR21 is the mid-tone um, blending color. I really love the way this looks. It looks so cute. But anyway, I'm just going to um, just let y'all peek at me coloring through the rest here. Okay, now that I have both of the fairies completely colored, I have stamped the images, both of the fairies, again, onto the, um, the dotty vellum. This is also from Doodlebug Design. I've used the stays on ink to do that so it doesn't smudge. Okay, so after I have both of the images, both the colored image and the vellum I images stamped and die cut using the, um, the matching coordinating doodle cut dies, 
I decided the best way to really get the vellum wings to show on the little fairies was to completely cut the fairy out. So I'm just using a very fine point pair of scissors to fussy cut both of the little fairies out away from the, the white border of the cardstock. There may be an easier way for you to do this, but this ended up looking really cute and working for me, so I would suggest this if you didn't find another way to do this. So then after having both of the images cut out, I just used a little bit of liquid glue to glue those in place. And there you have it. And just right over the vellum, it looks really cute. I'm gonna pop that up on Pop Dots, and then you'll be able to see here on my cards what the finished product looks like here. So cute, I use the thank you very much stamps some of the little sprinkles to kind of highlight those and anyway just really like the way that they turned out and be sure that you follow everybody in the hop subscribe like and share these videos we really appreciate y'all stopping by for this hop hope you enjoyed